In the dim light of twilight, the abandoned greenhouse stood like a forgotten relic, its glass panes cracked and veiled with a fine layer of dust. Flora Green, a determined investigator with a keen eye for detail, stepped cautiously inside. The air was thick with the scent of damp earth and decaying leaves, a testament to the passage of time. As she pulled out her flashlight, the beam sliced through the shadows, revealing remnants of vibrant blooms long past their prime. It was here, amidst the echoes of beauty, that Flora hoped to uncover the truth behind her mentor's untimely demise. Her heart pounded as she recalled the cryptic messages she had received, each one hinting at secrets buried within the floral community. The investigation was fraught with danger, but Flora was resolute. She moved deeper into the greenhouse, her senses alert to every sound and shadow. The case was complex, with layers of deceit and betrayal waiting to be unraveled. Flora knew she had to tread carefully, for the path to justice was fraught with peril. As Flora ventured further into the depths of the greenhouse, her flashlight beam caught something unusual beneath a rotting potting bench. Kneeling down, she discovered a hidden compartment, cleverly concealed from prying eyes. With a mix of anticipation and dread, she pried it open, revealing a collection of wilted petals and a crumpled note. The words were barely legible, but one phrase stood out with chilling clarity. The black market blooms in the shadows. Just then, the sound of footsteps echoed outside, sending a jolt of adrenaline through Flora's veins. She quickly tucked the note into her pocket, her pulse quickening as she turned to face the intruder. It was Thorn Blackwood, the rival florist, his sharp features illuminated by the fading light. His presence was both unexpected and unsettling. What are you doing here, Flora? Thorne's voice dripped with suspicion, his eyes narrowing as he stepped closer. Flora's mind raced as she tried to maintain her composure. Just looking for answers, she replied, her tone steady despite the tension in the air. Thorne's warning was clear, but Flora was undeterred. The investigation was only just beginning, and she was determined to follow the trail of deceit wherever it led. The atmosphere inside the greenhouse was charged with tension as Flora faced Thorn Blackwood. His warning hung in the air, a thinly veiled threat that sent a chill down her spine. Was he genuinely concerned for her safety, or was there something more sinister at play? Flora's instincts told her to be cautious, but her determination to uncover the truth was unwavering. The floral community was rife with jealousy and betrayal, and Flora knew that the answers she sought were hidden beneath layers of deceit. Thorne's presence only added to the complexity of the investigation. His involvement in the case was undeniable, but his true motives remained shrouded in mystery. Flora weighed her next words carefully, aware that any misstep could jeopardize her quest for justice. The investigation was a delicate dance, requiring both finesse and fortitude. Flora was prepared to follow the petals of deceit wherever they led, determined to bring her mentor's killer to justice. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the greenhouse, Flora steeled herself for the challenges ahead. The case was far from over, and she was ready to face whatever lay in store.